Hello, you fine internet folks. We're still here in Taipei at Computex 2025, where we just got out of the AMD keynote. There's quite a bit here, so let's get to it. The first announcement AMD made is a short one, and that is FSR Redstone. No, that's not a Minecraft shader. It's a continuation of FSR 4 with more machine learning, more radiance cache, more new features, basically. Um, ray reconstruction and super resolution powered by a machine learning algorithm is coming in Redstone, how exactly that works. TBD, and we should look forward to updates later this year. And now for the thing that most of you have been waiting for, the announcement of the RX 9060 XT, found in both 8GB and 16GB flavors. The 9060 XT uses the Navi 44 die, which is essentially a halfway cut uh, Navi 48, except in one respect, a full 16 lane PCIe bus, which is very nice. The die on board has 32 compute units that can run all the way up to 3.1 gigahertz. Ooh, spicy GPU. I think that's our first three gigahertz GPU out of the box um, or over three gigahertz GPU out of the box. Uh, that is paired with a 128 bit GDDR6 memory bus at 20 gigabits per second for 320 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. This is approximately a 5060 Ti in performance according to AMD slides. However, that will have to be borne out in testing and our review of it, which hopefully we shall have. And the price for the 8 gigabyte version is 299 and the price for the 16 gigabyte is 349 And they will be available on June 5th to purchase. So look forward to that. Up next, moving to the CPU side of things, AMD has announced Threadripper 9000 in Pro and non-Pro varieties. Starting with the Pro variety, this is up to 96 cores, but SKUs ranging from 12 to 96, up to 5.4 gigahertz boost clock on all SKUs, 32 megs per CCD, which gives you up to 384 megs of L3 cache, eight channels of DDR5-6400, RDIMS only, so easy access to ECC DIMMs. PCIe, PCIe lanes are 128 lanes of the 5.0 variety. Moving on to the non-pro SKUs for Threadripper 9000. There are only three of them with 24, 32, and 64 cores respectively for each of the SKUs. As far as IO is concerned, there's only four channels of memory so that's half of the pros, but it's the same 6400 DDR5 as the larger SKUs. Moving on to the PCIe lanes, we're not quite sure. We know that it has 80 lanes. However, the prior generation had a split between PCIe Gen 5 and Gen 4, but it does appear as if this generation it is all just Gen 5 for those 80 lanes. And again, the boost clock is up to 5.4 gigahertz and it's up to 350 watts for all of the SKUs. And just like the Pro SKUs that we talked about earlier, these are also motherboard drop-in compatible with the prior generation of Threadripper 7000 CPUs. And the final hardware announcement from AMD today is the uh, launch of the, well, announcement really, of the AMD Radeon AI Pro R9700. Bit of a mouthful of a name, um, but for all intents and purposes, the product is fairly simple. It's a 32 gigabyte version of the already launched 9070 XT. This is, no pricing has been announced, but will be available in July, just like the prior Threadripper CPUs. And this is mostly just geared towards the AI crowd. And on the AI note, the last announcement from AMD is a commitment to improving the Rockham user experience. This includes Im improving where Rockham runs, one of them being Strix Halo, along with the RX 9000 series, and improving the inbox support for different 
Linux distros, mainly Red Hat, Ubuntu, and OpenSUSE. They're also going to be improving the Windows experience, with PyTorch and ONX libraries being integrated into, Radeon, into the Radeon Open Compute module later this year in Q3. We have been asking for this improvement for a very, very long time. It is good that they're finally doing this, if they keep their promises here. We have seen AMD make promises about Rockham that haven't fully panned out. And I hope that this is a new page for AMD with regards to Rockham support. So those were all the announcements that AMD made here at Computex that I personally found interesting and I think that you guys would find interesting as well. As always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, it appeases the YouTube algorithm gods. As, and as always, there'll be links to the website, Patreon, and all the social media in the description below. I'm George from Chips and Cheese, here from Computex. Have a good one, folks.